All right. So that's why we have the connection showing up right now. Um, so if we look at the interface, we see that we're a uh, good indication that the uh, you know the interface is good, the connection is good on the point-to-point -point, uh, connection is that we've seen packets inbound and packets outbound and we're not taking any errors. If you look at uh, router 1, we'll probably see the same thing. Okay, there we have packets out, packets in, no errors. We are seeing carrier transitions. This means that the, uh, the interface has transitioned you know from up to down or from down to up. So we see carry transitions here. That's usually not good. What you can do, you can uh, do the command clear counters. And this command will clear all the, uh, basically clear all the stats on the interface for us. So if we look at the show command again on the interface, basically cleared all those, uh, all those stats. We'll run that here on uh, router zero. So again, clocking, timing, uh, you have your DCE. Right now we have R0. Let's put a little note here so we know what side's the DCE. We'll just uh, put R0 as so the DCE, and we'll just put R1 as DTE. We can just put this so that we can simulate an actual scenario, even though both sides are DCEs, according to the output of the show controller command. Uh, now we can go in here and just set up the clocking, you know, just like we're going to simulate the actual connection. Even though it's up right now, we, we don't have to do this, but again, just for practice, to get you used to configuring an actual physical, you know, the physical routers. <clears throat> you go into interface serial zero, 0, and you use the command clock rate, and this provides the timing on the interface. So you can see here there's preset values. We'll just use a clock rate. And this is in bits. So we're going to put in here 128,000 bits, which is 128 kilobits per second. Now, to uh, verify uh, your clocking on interface, you can just do a show run and take a look at the interface. We're here at serial 00. We can see that we have set the clock rate manually to uh, 128 kilobits per second. Now if we look at the interface again, um, you can see that a lot of people uh, will um, miscorrectly uh, use the bandwidth command. They think the bandwidth command specifies the actual speed of the interface and that is the actual physical you know, uh, line speed and that is not the case. The bandwidth command is used uh, not, to, not for the line speed or the you know, uh, timing on the interface. The bandwidth command is used for more complex uh, um, scenarios that you'll see when you uh, when you're using you know uh, uh, your routing protocols the bandwidth command is used um, some of the routing protocols use the bandwidth uh, command as one of the metrics <coughs> for your uh, you know your routers to um, select the best path through the network you know because if you have a bandwidth say of uh, in, in this case this is a you know a t1 one uh, 1.5 uh, megabits per second uh, and, I, and this is going to say the same router as another interface on my router here which has a bandwidth command set up to you know 128 kilobits per second um, naturally your router is going to select if you know your routing protocol is using the bandwidth uh, to uh, you know to to calculate metric, it's going to use the faster link. So it's going to go across your T1 rather than your fractional 128 kilobit uh, connection. So anyway, uh, don't get those confused. A lot of people do. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, move on from here. Um, 
So we have bandwidth, we've gone over clock rate. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, now what we're going to do is we're just going to configure an IP address uh, on the interface. And we do that by going into uh, interface configuration mode again and use the IP address command. We're on router zero, so we want to put in uh, up here again. We put the dot one in, so we're going to use the dot one. And in hexadecimal, the subnet mask is two five two. Now let's set up uh, router one. Again, you have to write out the subnet mask in hexadecimal. It's not going to take it. And you know, so in a slash 30 uh, form, you can't do that. But if you do, now if I do a show interface serial 00, you'll see that it shows me the subnet mask in a slash 30 uh, notation. Same with uh, the other side here. Show interface zero, zero, zero on router one. Okay, so router one is the dot two, which is what I have set up, and then router zero is the dot one. Again, now this is layer three. So we went through layer one, the physical layer, uh, and we went through layer two, data link layer, so line protocol, and now. We are at layer three, configuring the IP addresses. Let's see if we have uh, reachability uh, between the, the the nodes via layer three. We can uh, test reachability uh, via layer three by using the uh, uh, the ping command. So to do that, what we want to do first is. Let's just clear our counters again. I'll show you how you can so we only have one packet, roughly one packet on each side. Okay, now let's just do a ping. Pinging from router zero. We'll see if we can ping router one. So we want to try to we type in the IP address of the uh, the far side, which is dot two, and you can see that we have a success rate of 100%. Uh, all the pings went through. Let's try to ping from router one to router zero. One nine two one six eight one dot one, and it looks like we're good to go on both sides. So we know we have reachability via layer three now. See, we can see the packets incrementing. Now, if you wanted to tell that you know your pings are going through, what you can do is you can just do a uh, extended ping, uh, target IP. I'm just going to put in the other side again, 1.2. Repeat count here. I'm just going to put 500 to show you that we can do the show interface command, and we can see those packets incrementing. Uh, you can notably see that. See over here, we do it. We got 380. Now we have 520, so we can see those packets going through in real time, you know, going through, and, and, uh, and it looks like we're good. We have a, uh, a good, successful setup here. We've uh, established layer 1 through 3 uh, inside of GNS3.